A major lender has begun rejecting mortgages for homes in some high-risk flood zones. Allison Northcott now with how this could affect people who already own those properties and what it could do to the housing market as a whole. It started with the street right next to us. And Tanya Carroll will never forget the 2017 flood. We were woken up uh, in the middle of the night by the firefighters and we were rushed out. Carol lives in what's known as a 20-year floodplain, which means there's a 5% risk of flooding any given year. That's now considered too risky for Desjardins, a major financial institution based in Quebec. It will no longer offer new mortgages for properties on 20-year floodplains across the province. Residents like Carol worry what the change will mean for the value of their homes. If I do decide in the future to sell my house, what's going to be the, you know, the chances that I'll be able to get what it's worth at that time. Will it be worth? Is that going to then, you know, downgrade the, 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 the cost of, you know, the, the selling price? Desjardins said in a statement, the impacts of climate change, including water damage, are growing in importance and causing substantial damage. The company points out less than 5% of its mortgaged properties are in high-risk flood zones, but says homes in these areas are generally uninsurable and it needs to account for the risks. People might not be able to pay their mortgages uh, if a major flood event occurs. Several insurance companies have made similar moves, with more than a million Canadian homes deemed uninsurable for flood risk. If mortgage providers are next and others follow Desjardins' lead, there could be a huge impact, says this expert. So you're going to have eroding and cascading effects throughout the residential housing market within given regions across Canada in these high-risk areas. In the Montreal borough of Pierrefonds, Roxborough alone, the mayor says there are thousands of households in flood zones. Will the other banking institutions follow suit, which creates a major issue because if you don't have cash at that point to buy a home, folks that have these homes will be stuck with them. The property value goes down. Experts say it's another reminder that Canada needs to do more to adapt to avoid risks caused by climate change. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.